Uh, the 1970s manual had basic constructions. They were marked on the diagrams as uh, BC1 or BC2. They rarely went above the BC2 on the diagrams, but there were actually 14 of them. Uh, BC1 is a way of having two strips moving independently of each other on a bolt. And uh, there's two lock-nutted nuts at the end, uh, which means that the strips are free in between the uh, nuts and the bolt head. BC2 is slightly different. Uh, this strip has nuts either side, so it doesn't move uh, in relation to the to the bolt. But this strip uh, does; it's free. BC3 is a way of connecting strips um, with a st strip in the middle, and these two strips are at the same height. BC4 is a way of connecting two strips directly. Well, that means this strip is slightly higher than that one. BC5 is just two strips connected with an obtuse angle bracket. Uh, why that needs a BC, I, I don't really know. Uh, BC6 is a way of mounting a rod on a, uh, a, a double bent strip, this double bent strip here, and there's a spring clip at the bottom to hold it all in place and it just turns. And BC7 is a, a way of channeling a rod again. This time we're using a, a one inch double bracket to form the, uh, to form the bearing for it.